Uh, Dr. Anurag Merotra, what can you add to this? You are the coordinator of the Public Awareness Forum for Vaccination at your hospital. In the aftermath of this new variant of COVID alarm, are you seeing, are you increasingly getting more, uh, you know, questions or seeing people flocking to hospitals to inquire about this booster dose, whether they should go in for it or not? Because I'm certainly more, certainly hearing more of, of you know, these uh, conversations. And in that uh, case, how does, how, how do you identify a priority group? Is that easy for this technical advisory group? How do you decide what or who uh, should the priority group be to whom this booster dose will be administered? Good evening. Uh, we are in the cusp of the third wave. Coffee time. We were discussing whether the third wave will occur or not. Now we are almost there, albeit because of a new variant. So in preparing ourselves to meet this challenge, I think we must emphasize on vaccinations. It is a good news that 50% of our population have been doubly vaccinated. But still a large number of uh, persons are there who have not been vaccinated. The other part which you are asking, your booster dose, I suppose the part of preparation, uh, the part of strategy, we must address the concern of our frontline workers, like doctors, like other healthcare providers, like Absolutely. administration persons, because they will have to tackle these things. And as a part of preparation, there's nothing wrong in giving the booster dose. Mm. All over the world, many of the countries have allowed this. In the US, they are going to allow it to the person around 18 years of age also now. There are a large number of studies. The studies came from Israel that involved almost 40 lakh of patients. This was an observation study. It compared the persons who took booster dose and those who didn't didn't take booster dose. Uh, five booster dose was given five months after the uh, initial two doses. So there was significant difference in response. The persons who were who got the booster dose mm. showed the less tendency for receiving infection, less tendency for hospitalization, and death was also less. So there academically there is sufficient evidence evidence to go for the booster dose, but. As uh, we, uh, as for as far we are concerned in India because we have a large number of population yeah. and our primary vaccination is not still complete. So as a part of strategy, we should emphasize only on the frontline workers. And uh, there's no nothing wrong in giving uh, booster dose. There is uh, enough evidence on the bench to for that. And one more thing which I would like to like to convey: Moderna company which has given this mRNA vaccine, they said they will prepare the Omicron yes. specific booster within the, by the month of March. And they are talking in terms of polyvalent vaccines for the different uh, variants of COVID disease. So there is no academic aspect which says you should not go for this. And, there, and in fact, there is no harm in getting that also. Now it depends on the national task force and this group what they decide on for this. Correct. And in fact, this uh, and has given the permission for this on 29th November meeting. But later on, they detected, they said the world expert would, will provide them for this. Correct. Doctor, absolutely no debate over whether frontline workers should be given the booster dose. Of course, they should. That is the topmost priority. Uh, uh, 